Hi guys, so for this video I'm going to use yarn in two different brands. One is uh, in size 4 medium and another one is uh, this one. It's yarn B but you can also use a homespun yarn. But for the purpose of this video I'm going to use this one because with the second one it's really hard to tell pattern. So I'm just going to use uh, one just for the purpose of this video. But you should definitely blend them together. And the crochet hook that I'm using is in size 5.5 millimeters. So I will start by making a slip knot and then I will chain 12. Now on the eighth chain from a hook, I'll make one double crochet. chain two, then on the ninth chain from the hook I'll make one double crochet. Now I'll chain two, then I'll skip the next two chains and through the third chain I'll make one double crochet. Now I'll chain four, then right there through the same chain I'll make one double crochet. So this completes row one. Now for row 2 I'll turn my work around, then I'll chain 3. Now right there to that first loop I'll make 8 double crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now right there through that next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain 2. Then right there through that next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet. Now right here through this last loop I'll make 8 double crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, and eight. Now, right here, counting from the bottom, on the fourth chain, I'll make one double crochet. So this completes row two. Now, for row three, I'll turn my work around. Then I'll chain 5, now in the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet, chain 1, in the next chain I'll make one double crochet, chain 1, in the next chain one double crochet, chain 1, in the next chain one double crochet, chain 1, in the next chain one double crochet, chain 1, in the next chain 1 double crochet, chain 1, in the next chain 1 double crochet, chain 1, in the next chain 1 double crochet, chain 1, in the next chain 1 double crochet. Now I'll chain 2, then through the next double crochet chain I'll make 1 double crochet, chain 1, in the next chain one double crochet, chain one, in the next chain one double crochet, chain one, in the next chain one double crochet, chain one, in the next chain one double crochet, chain one, in the next chain one double crochet, chain one, in the next chain one double crochet, chain one, in the next chain one double crochet, chain one, in the next chain one double crochet, chain one, then right there through the third chain I'll make one double crochet. So this completes row two. Now for row four I'll turn my work around, then I will chain four, then right here through this next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet, chain two, through this next 
one chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain two through the next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain two through the next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain two through the next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain two through the next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain chain two in the next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain two in the next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet now I will chain two and you see we have one more one chain loop left but we're going to skip that one so in the second double crochet chain which is this is the first double crochet chain and this is the second double crochet chain so through the second double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet and then I'll chain two then through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet now I will chain two I will skip this first one chain loop and through the second one chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain two through the next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain two through the next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain two through the next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain two through the next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain two through the next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain two through the next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain two through the next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet and then I'll chain one and right there through that third chain I'll make one double crochet so this completes row four now for row five I'll turn my work around and then I will chain 10 then I'll skip this first loop and through the second loop I'll make one double crochet then I'll chain six I will skip one loop and through the second loop I'll make one double crochet chain six I will skip one loop and through the second loop I'll make one double crochet chain six I will skip one loop and through the second loop I'll make one double crochet chain six now I'll skip this next loop now I'll skip this first double crochet and this next two chain loop and right there through the second double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet I'll chain two then in the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet I'll chain six I'll skip the next loop and through a second loop I'll make one double crochet chain six I'll skip the next loop and through a second loop I'll make one double crochet chain six I'll skip one loop and through a second loop I'll make one double crochet chain six I will skip one loop and through a second loop I'll make one double crochet chain six now right here through this last loop right there to the third chain I'll make one double crochet so this completes row five now for row six I'll turn my work around then I will chain three Now right here through this first loop I'll make eight double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
now in this next six chain loop I'll make one half double crochet I will chain six in this next six chain loop I'll make one single crochet chain six in this next six chain loop I'll make one half double crochet In this next six chain loop, I'll make one half double crochet, chain six. In this next six chain loop, I'll make one half double crochet. Now, right there to the next loop, I'll make eight double crochet. Now right there through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet. So now I will chain two, then through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet. Now right there through the next loop I'll make eight double crochet. Now right there to the next six chain loop I'll make one half double crochet. I'll chain six. In the next six chain loop I'll make one half double crochet. Chain six. In the next six chain loop I'll make one half double crochet. Now right there to the last loop I'll make eight double crochet. So one now right there through that third chain I'll make one double crochet. So this completes row 6. Now for row 7, I'll turn my work around and I'll chain 4. Now right there to that next double crochet chain, I'll make 1 double crochet. Chain 1. In the next chain, I'll make 1 double crochet. Chain 1. In the next chain, I'll make 1 double crochet. Chain 1. In the next chain, I'll make 1 double crochet chain one in the next chain I'll make one double crochet chain one in the next chain I'll make one double crochet chain one in the next chain I'll make one double crochet chain one in the next chain I'll make one double crochet chain one then right there to the six chain loop I'll make one half double crochet chain six In the next six chain loop, I'll make one half double crochet. Chain one, then right there through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, in the next chain, one double crochet. Chain one, in the next chain, one double crochet. Chain one, in the next chain, one double crochet. Chain one, in the next chain, one double crochet chain one in the next chain one double crochet chain one in the next chain one double crochet chain one in the next chain one double crochet chain one in the next chain one double crochet now I'll chain two then right there to the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet chain one in the next chain one double crochet chain one in the next chain one double crochet 
chain one in the next chain one double crochet chain one in the next chain one double crochet chain one in the next chain one double crochet chain one in the next chain one double crochet chain one in the next chain one double crochet chain one in the next chain one double crochet chain one now right there to the next six chain loop I'll make one half double crochet chain six in the next six chain loop I'll make one half double crochet chain one now right there to the next double crochet chain this is a half double crochet chain so don't work through that one but to this next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet chain one then then I'll continue making one double crochet in each chain with one chain in between until we reach the end of this row We are at the end of this row through the third chain. I'll make one double crochet. So this completes row seven. Now for row eight, I'll turn my work around. Then I will chain five. Now right here through this next double crochet, I will make one front post treble crochet. Then I will chain two. Then right there to the next double crochet post, I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain two. Then I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain two. Then I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain two. Then I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain two, then I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain two, then I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain two, then I'll make one front post treble crochet. Now I will chain one, then right there to the next six chain loop I'll make one half double crochet. Chain one again. I will skip this first half double crochet chain and through the next double crochet post I'll make one front post treble crochet. So we continue making one front post treble crochet until we reach the center of our work. So now that we have uh, reached the center, we have one more double crochet left, so we'll chain two and then right there through that uh, double crochet chain, I'll make one treble crochet. Now I'll chain two, and then through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one treble crochet. I'll chain two, then through the next double crochet post, I'll make one treble crochet. I'll chain two. So I'll continue making one front post treble crochet until we reach this last double crochet for this shell.
So now I will chain one, then right there through this six chain loop, I'll make one half double crochet. I'll chain one, then I'll skip this first half double crochet chain and through this next double crochet post, I'll make one front post treble crochet. Then I'll chain two, then through the next double crochet post, I'll make one front post double crochet. So I'll repeat this until we reach the end of this row. Okay, I reach the end of the row, I'll chain two, and then right there to that fourth chain, I'll make one treble crochet. So this completes row eight. So now for row nine, I'll turn my work around, then I'll chain ten. Then I'll skip this first two chain loop and through the second two chain loop I'll make one half double crochet. I will chain six. I will skip this next two chain loop and through the second two chain loop I'll make one half double crochet. Chain six. I will skip the next loop and through the second loop I'll make one half double crochet. Chain six. I will skip the next loop and through a second loop I'll make one half double crochet. Now I will chain six. Then I'll skip these two one chain loops and through that next two chain loop I'll make one half double crochet. Then I'll chain six. I'll skip the next loop and through a second loop. I'll make one half double crochet. Chain six. Now skip one loop and through a second loop I'll make one half double crochet. Chain six. I'll skip one loop and through a second loop I'll make one half double crochet. Now I'll chain six. Then I'll skip this first loop and through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet. Chain two, then through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet. Now I'll chain six. I'll skip this first loop and through the second loop I'll make one half double crochet. I'll chain six. I'll skip one loop and through a second loop I'll make one half double crochet. Chain six. I'll skip one loop and through a second loop I'll make one half double crochet. Chain six. I'll skip one loop and through a second loop I'll make one half double crochet. Chain six. I'll skip these next one chain loops. And right there through the two chain loop I'll make one half double crochet. Chain six. I'll skip one loop and through a second loop I'll make one half double crochet. Chain six. I'll skip one loop and through a second loop I'll make one half double crochet. Chain six. I'll skip one loop and through a second loop I'll make one half double crochet. Chain six, then right there through that third chain I'll make one double crochet. So this completes row nine. 
Now for row 10, I'll turn my work around. I'll chain 3. Then right there to that first loop, I'll make 8 double crochet. Right there through this next 6 chain loop, I'll make 1 half double crochet. Chain 6. In this next 6 chain loop, I'll make 1 half double crochet. Chain 6. In this next 6 chain loop, I'll make 1 half double crochet. Now right here through this next 6 chain loop, I'll make 8 double crochet. In this next 6 chain loop, I'll make 1 half double crochet. Chain 6. In this next 6 chain loop, I'll make 1 half double crochet. Chain 6. In this next 6 chain loop, I'll make 1 half double crochet. Now right here through this next loop, I'll make 8 double crochet. Now right here through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet, chain two, through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet, through this next six chain loop, I'll make eight double crochet, Through this next 6 chain loop, I'll make 1 half double crochet, chain 6. Through this next 6 chain loop, I'll make 1 half double crochet, chain 6. Through the next 6 chain loop, I'll make 1 half double crochet. Now through this next 6 chain loop, I'll make 8 double crochet. In this next 6 chain loop, I'll make 1 half double crochet, chain 6. In this next 6 chain loop, I'll make 1 half double crochet, chain 6. In this next 6 chain loop, I'll make 1 half double crochet. Now right here through this last loop, I'll make 8 double crochet. Right there, through that third chain, I'll make one double crochet. So this completes row 10. Now for row 11, I'll turn my work around. Then I'll chain 4. Now right there through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. So I'll continue making one double crochet in each chain with one chain in between until I reach this last double crochet right here.
Now chain one, then right there to the six chain loop, I'll make one half double crochet. Chain six. Through this next six chain loop, I'll make one half double crochet. Chain one. Now I'll skip this first half double crochet chain and to the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain one, then in the next chain I'll make one double crochet. So I'll continue making one double crochet in each chain with, with one chain in between until I reach this last double crochet right here. chain one then to this next six chain loop I'll make one half double crochet chain six in the next six chain loop I'll make one half double crochet chain one now I'll skip this first half double crochet chain and to this next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet chain one then to the next chain I'll make one double crochet so now I'll continue making one double crochet in each chain until I reach this last double crochet right here until I reach the center of our work this is the center So now that we have reached the center of our work, I'll chain two. Then in this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. So I already showed you how to make a first half of row 11. So now we're going to repeat the same thing for the other half. So repeat the same process throughout row 11. So now for row 12, I'll turn my work around. Then I'll chain five. Then right there to his next double crochet post, I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain 2, then I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain 2, then I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain 2, then we'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain 2, then we'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain 2, then I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain 2, then I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain 2, then I'll make one front post treble crochet. And now I'll chain 1. Then right there through his next six chain loop, I'll make one half double crochet. Chain one. Now I'll skip this first half double crochet chain and through his next double crochet, I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain two. Then I'll make one front post treble crochet. So I'll continue making one front post treble crochet until I reach this last double crochet chain right here. I'll chain one. Now right here through a six chain loop I'll make one half double crochet. Chain one. I'll skip this first half double crochet chain and through his next double crochet chain and through his next double crochet post I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain two. And I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain two. 
chain two. Then we'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain two. One front post treble crochet. Chain two. We'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain two. And I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain two. And I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain two. And I'll make one front post treble crochet. Chain two. Then I'll make one treble crochet right there through that double crochet chain. Chain two. Then I'll make one treble crochet right there to this next double crochet post. So that's half of the 12th row. So I'll show you how to make the first half of row 12. And now you're just going to repeat the same thing for the other side. So I show you how to make the first half of row 12. Now you have to repeat the same thing for the other half. So this completes row 12. So for the pattern we need to repeat rows 9 through 12. For the pattern we're repeating rows 9 through 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. For the pattern we repeat rows 9 through 12. So we repeat rows 9 through 12 until our work reaches our desired length. So I have 17 rows in total and this is the exact length that I want my scarf to be. Let me just measure it for you guys. So it's 15 inches long and uh, 40 inches wide. 15 inches long and 40 inches wide. So here I have uh, 18 strings of yarn. They are 40 inches long. And I'm just gonna put them right here through this first loop, right there for the first edge. Make sure they're even. So now I'm going to divide them by 12. I have three sets of 12 and I'm just going to braid this. It doesn't have to be a tight braid. Just make sure that your strands of yarn are even. Now I'm just going to take two strands of yarn and wrap them around in the opposite side. And then we make a double knot. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So these are our final results.